what is a subquery and what is correlated subquery in SQL Server. Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from Nohav Academy. What are we going to learn in this video? We are going to see what is a subquery, what is an example of a subquery. We are going to see what is meant by correlated subquery with one example. So in my previous videos, I have told what is meant by a subquery and how to create a subquery using a joins. So to give a quick recap, what is meant by a subquery? If you require any query to complete it in multiple steps, for example, there is a requirement or there is a question that has come up to you when you are working that you have to create a query which requires multiple steps to perform. So when we are writing a query in n number of steps, then it is very difficult for us to go through or to understand the complete concept of that query. So for that, what we do? We cut short the particular biggest query that we are about to write into different sub parts of it. So that's where subqueries comes into the picture. So there are two things in the subquery that we need to remember. Okay, there are two things. One, the subquery that we write, it comes under the parenthesis inside a query that is called as a subquery and the one which is outside this parenthesis that is called as a main query or an outer query. Now the point here is that the outer query and the inner query, I mean the sub query, okay, there should be some relation, there should be some connectivity between these two both, for that we use operators, okay. So that's where your general sub query comes into the picture. But when I'm talking about a correlated sub query, in this correlated sub query, okay, there will not be a proper relation between these two queries. Do not worry, I'll show it to you here in a uh, very easy example. So if I walk you towards a simple example of a subquery, then it is here that I'm choosing two tables. I'm choosing menu item table and I'm choosing a menu group table. So what I'm doing here, I am getting the menu item name along with its group name, which is having the highest price. So for this, I am choosing the group name column, menu item name column, price column and menu ID column from the two tables called menu item and menu group. As we do not have all these informations in one table, that's why I'm using two tables with a joins concept here. So then what I'm trying to do, I'm writing the condition that when the price is not in, okay, not in, nowhere. So select the maximum price from the table menu item. So these are the different menu items that we have it here. So this is a very simple query that we write. Even if I do not write or if I do not consider the outer query, the inner query will get executed okay the inner query will get executed the maximum price is 90 but this will not happen in a correlated subquery always remember that if you want to find out the second highest value or if you want to find out the uh, uh, um, the second average value so these are the different types of interview questions that we might be getting very frequently that we should understand but when i am talking about a correlated subquery this is very important that we need to understand about it because the correlated subquery if the subquery depends upon the outer query okay in this example that i have given it to you if i directly execute this maximum price from the table menu item i'm getting 90 okay so it is not at all uh, depending upon the main query or the outer query but if the sub query it purely depends upon the outer query until or unless we select the outer query then we execute it then only we are going to get some solution so if we are, we are not selecting the main query or if we, we are if we are not selecting the outer query then we will not get the result because the correlated subquery is always dependent upon our main query or the outer query you know in even in the interviews also if this has been asked to you what is meant by a correlated subquery a very simple answer is that if the subquery depends upon the outer query or a main query then it is called a correlated subquery so here the correlated subquery it cannot be executed independently it cannot be executed independently as how i have shown you that select maximum price from table menu item i am executing this one independently right so though i executed independently i am getting some answer I'm getting some answer in it, but in a correlated subquery, we will not get that particular answer. So let us see one small example uh, for this correlated subquery. 
okay i am taking uh, two tables here one is student table and the training table if you see here in the student table we have the column student id training id student name and in the training table we have the columns training id training name training fee and the student id who belongs to the particular training id okay what course they have uh, what training they have uh, been selected to so point here is that what i am doing it i am right i am selecting the training name that i would like to see it in the output training name is sql server and python am i right so here we have sql server and python so let me show it to you again i have the training names that as sql server and python that is what i would like to see it in the output then i am writing a sub query so as you can see here in the select statement i am summing the total student ids from the student table where where the condition is that the student id the student id is equal to from the training table i am considering the training id okay so this training name table this training name column that i have chosen it is coming from my training table so if you see here if i execute only my inner query if i execute only my sub query then what is the error it is telling me it is telling that the multi part identifier could not be bound okay it could not be bound with the multi part identifier so what we have to do we need to select our outer query also then we need to show it in the output then we need to show it in the output so if i uh, if i execute the whole then i am getting something so this is the result so why we are getting null values here the reason is that if you see okay this particular sql server and training names people who have been uh, selected or offered from the student table this is not linked up and even we are not using any joins concept to uh, show the relation between these two tables or getting some values from the table 1 to the table 2 okay we can uh, we can leave about the null values uh, information aside but if we consider that until or unless we don't select the outer query we are not getting the result out of it so the point here is that what happens if there is a relation or if, for example if there is a uh, training name which is already there in the student table also it will merge it for example uh, sql server has been taken by the course id let us consider the training id 1 2 is considered by three people three students then it will club all three then it will show that sql server are offered by three okay that's how uh, that's how it is uh, considered as a correlation between the so between the queries and the sub queries so the important point here is that we cannot execute this sub query independently obviously we need to have a contact with our outer query to get the result so that's where correlated sub query plays an important role if the sub query i'm again repeating it what is correlated sub query if we the sub query is purely dependent upon our outer query this is the outer query if it is purely dependent upon the outer query or main query that is called as a sub query this we need to uh, have it so basic we can see different types of sub queries we have single uh, row sub query you know multi row query sub row sub query correlated sub query and so on so so multi row sub query yeah we can, i have shown with the joins example single row sub query you know with a single uh, single how to uh, get the second last record it's a very simple thing that i have shown in my previous video so so that's why correlated sub that's what correlated sub query plays uh, an important role in uh, identifying or the showing the importance of an outer query in a sub query so thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning